Okay, the first step you need to do is take your two short edges and you're going to line them up as best you can. Get my two edges lined up and I'm going to bring my finger back and then smooth that out. Now I've got this, so I'm going to take one of my short edges and bend that back, line it up as best I can with the fold, and press that down. I'm going to flip this over, take the last short edge line that up with the fold and now I should have an M or a W for this next step I'm actually going to refold this so it's just folded in half I'm going to set it up so I've got my fold right here. And I'm going to take a ruler. So my rulers go 1 to 18. And then the other side is 1 to 18 again. Um, they're both inches. You need to find the side that shows up the best. So this 1 to 9 shows up better than the other side. So what I'm going to do got my fold here. Now line up my ruler with the end here. It's not going over and it's not back. You get lined up even. And I'm gonna make a little mark next to the long line by the three. So my mark goes, here's the ruler and it makes it into a T. I'm going to do the same thing, big line by the 6. I'm going to slide my ruler down just a little bit, but on the same section. Make sure it's lined up here. Put a mark at the big line by the 3 and the big line by the 6. Next, I'm going to turn this sideways, and I'm going to use the ruler to draw a straight line. So what I want to do is put these two marks so they are touching my ruler. And I'm going to draw a line just back to this fold mark. Do the same thing over here. Line up those two marks so they're touching the ruler, and draw a line back to the fold. Okay, next we're going to cut, so we should be cutting through the fold just to here. So double check to make sure your project is set up folded in half. We are only cutting on these lines to the fold, to this fold here. Don't cut past that fold. When you open it up, if you did it right, you should have this. Okay, we're going to cut one, only one more spot. And it's going to be right here. So carefully, I'm just cutting this flap free. So 
it should now look like this. Okay, so now we're going to fold it together. So if you set your project up like this, once you have your project set up like this, you're going to take the flap and you're going to bend it around this solid end and hold that there. Then with the rest of it, with the rest of it, you're going to take this solid end, bend it towards you, and roll it. should have this. I've got the flap side looking at me. When you have the flap up, you're going to take a small piece of masking tape and tape that flap down. Then we're going to check it and make sure it's right. So you should be able to fold it and you're separating the back then. And then fold it again, separate the back, and then it'll get to where you can't separate anymore. And then you unfold it as far as you can. So I'm going to go backwards. So I'm separating the front now. Backwards, open the front. So now I'm back to my tape. Since mine is set up right, I'm going to take the masking tape off and put the scotch tape on. And okay, first thing you're going to do is draw your candy all wrapped up. Make sure it fills the whole page. For the next drawing, first you're going to go to the third page. And draw your candy open. You're done with the second drawing. You're going to go ahead and push this together, pull the top apart, and do the third drawing. For that, you either need to take a bite or finish it off. Page one on your book, you're going to write your name so it fills the whole page. Write it creatively, so think block letters and draw inside of it, or cursive and draw around it. <laughs> 